And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, we bring you a transcribed story of a mother, a father, a locked door, and a baby. We call it The Cellar Door. So now, starring Paula Winslow and Parley Bear, here is tonight's suspense play, The Cellar Door. We finally got a perfect Sunday. I thought you were going to wash the car. Well, I decided to mow the lawn instead. Yeah, I could hear you. <laughs> Hi, Sandy. Hi. What's new? New. Hey, did you hear that, Ann? He can say anything now. That You know that woman on the corner? Um, what's her name? Oh, Miss Emerson. Uh, yeah. She wouldn't believe me when I told her Sandy wasn't quite two. She thought he was three or four. Oh, really, Joe? But that's right. We'll have lunch right after your bath, honey. Well, what's the schedule? Well, I'm going to bathe him now, lunch, and his nap, and then we can go to the park. Mm-hmm. I better drain some of that water out of the heater. Where's the bucket, Ann? Down the basement? Oh, I moved everything onto the service porch. It was too tough going up and down those stairs. Hey, look. All those toys, and he plays with an egg beater. Oh, say, the water heater's all right, Joe. If you have to fix something, how about the light socket in the bedroom closet, huh? Well, I'll fix them both. Oh, what was that? I don't know. Oh, it's those kids from across the street. Oh, they must have kicked that football in the yard again. Where are you going? They're killing the hedge. I'll be right back. Oh, come on, Sandy. We'll run the water into the tub. Hey, fellas, don't go through the hedge. Go around it. It's the only hedge I've got to my name. Where's your boat, honey? Can't take a bath without the boat. And right after your nap, we'll go to the park and ride in the pony cart. Oh, here's your boat. Now, look, don't go out in the hall, dear. You stay here. I'll be down in the basement, honey. Did you save the hedge? Yeah, I guess I'm getting old. I've been nursing that hedge for three years. Say, can you watch Sandy for a minute? I want to get a towel out of the kitchen. Sure. And turn the water off, will you, honey? Right. Uh, we'll take on the ponies this afternoon, son, huh? Ponies. Hey, Ann? Ann! Well, what's wrong? Nothing, but look at Sandy. What'd he do? He took off his stockings. Oh, he's been doing that for months. Yeah, I know, but look how neatly he tucked them in his shoes. Just like I do. Cues. Hey. Well, is there something wrong with putting my arms around you? No. <laughs> You going to fix the light socket upstairs? After I drain the water heater. <laughs> Sandy's bath's going to get cold. Okay. I'm on my way. Oh, Joe. Yeah? Put a low flame under the pans on the stove, will you? Check. Thanks, dear. Oh, the water's just right. Come on. You take off your pants. No. Oh, you did it yesterday. Come on. Start with the buttons. Oh, Joe, can you answer the phone? Joe! I'm down in the basement. Oh, well, I'll get it. Come on, give me your hand, Sandy. We'll answer the phone together. Oh, you better let me carry you again. The floor is cold and you got your shoes off. There we go. Now, hang on. No, phone. Hello? Oh, Fine. Yeah, look, uh, can I call you back, Mother? I was just going to give Sandy his bath. Now he's... Now, he's fine. Uh, no. No, he didn't have a cold after all. Uh, m- Mother, look, can I call... Mother, can I call you back? 
All right. Yeah, all, all right. You call me back. Mm-hmm. About 15 or 20 minutes. Okay. Okay. Yeah, bye. <sighs> to the bath, we hope. Anne? Oh, dear. What do you want? Who was it? My mother. Oh. Where are the flyers? In the kitchen. Well, will you throw them down to me? <sighs> All right. Sandy, we may never have a bath. Toast. Yeah, Toast. lunch. Lunch. We'll have lunch down. and just... Okay, okay, sweetie. I guess the floor's not that cold. Come on out in the kitchen with me. We gotta find Daddy the pliers. See? Pliers. Pliers? Lights on. Lights no, honey, on. we only turn the lights on in the evening when it's dark. Come on, let's go back in the hall. Wall. No, Wall. no, hall. This is the hall. Wall. Yeah, I'm right here. Well, throw them down. Oh, Joe, you shouldn't leave the cellar door open, not with Sandy around. Well, I knew it was with you. You got the pliers? Yes. Well, throw them down. Look, Sandy, you wait right here in the hall. Now, I'll only be gone a second. You wait right here. Hey, what are you doing? Well, I have to come down a few steps. I can't throw it around the bend in the stairs. Okay. Now, I'll be right back, honey, and you stay right here. Okay, here you are. Catch. Strike. Thanks, dear. Hey, what's the rush? Well, I left Sandy in the hall. Oh, well, when do we eat? Oh, about ten minutes. Joe. Joe! What's wrong? The door's locked. I, oh, I, I can't get out. Well, now, don't get excited. We'll oh. get it open. Why didn't you put the catch on the lock? Well, I thought you had. The door was open. Did you have to close the door? What do you want, Sandy, to fall down the stairs? Oh, oh hurry. He's just a baby. He, he, he might fall in the tub. He might... Anything could happen. <laughs> Listening to The Cellar Door, tonight's presentation in radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. If you're a veteran radio listener, you'll remember that there never was anything like it on the air. If you're new to radio, you'll soon realize you'd never heard anything like it. The Radio Workshop will continue after a few years' vacation to bring you the new, the exciting, the unusual in all fields of radio broadcasting. Dramas, music, operas, poetry, and comedy. Hear the CBS Radio Workshop this Friday evening and every Friday. And now we bring back to our Hollywood soundstage Harley Bear and Paula Winslow starring in tonight's production, The Cellar Door. A tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. the lock. The lock's on the other side. The only thing here's the bolt that holds the lock. The only thing I'm breaking open is my shoulder. Well, you've got to get this door open. He's out there alone. I know it. Keep your voice down and relax. There's no use scaring the kid. Joe, there's water in the bathtub. There's a flame on the stove. Do something. Only get the door open. Hey, what's that? Oh, he's playing with the egg beater. At least he's still in the hall. Look, can't you pry it open? The hinges are on the other side. It's a spring lock. There's no way of turning the lock from here. <sighs> Sandy! Sandy! Bye. Bye-bye. Oh. Bye-bye. Uh, honey, I- I'll be right out. You wait there by the door. Mommy will be right out. What? Where are you 
you're going. See if I can find anything in the basement to smash open that door. Oh. Sandy! Sandy! Oh, Joe, hurry, will you? Sandy! Joe, he's not in the hall. I can't hear him. What happened to that old hammer I had down here? I don't know. Sandy! Sandy! I couldn't find anything but a screwdriver and the pliers. It should do the trick. Oh, he's not in the hall. He doesn't answer. Now take it easy. Falling apart isn't going to help. this bolt. It's part of the lock. Well, hurry. It's going to take a few seconds. See if you can get him back in the hall. Oh, okay. Sandy! Sandy! Joe. Joe, what was that? What was what? It sounded like... like water splashing. No, oh, I didn't hear anything. I left the back door open. The screen door isn't locked. If he went outside, the, the traffic... Well, yes, this isn't going to work. Well, you've got I'll to... I'll have do... to try something else. Oh, he's got his toy duck. Yeah, he's in the hall. Down by the bathroom. Sandy! 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 I always give him the duck when he's in the water. Sandy, come down here by the door. Right here, Sandy, where Daddy's knocking. Bye-bye, Daddy. Sandy, stay right here. Let me talk to him. Sandy, come up to the door. Right here. Do you see the little knob, Sandy? Can you turn it for Daddy? Oh, he doesn't know what you're talking about. Oh, I've seen him play with every doorknob in the house. But he can't reach it, Joe. He gets up on his chair. Sandy, get your chair, Sandy. Get your chair and bring it to the door. Dad? Look, Joe, can't you pry the door open? No, I can't. Sandy, get your chair and bring it to the door. Oh, he could be here till tomorrow morning. Till the cleaning woman comes. Get your chair, Sandy. Joe. Shh. He's going for his chair. Oh, it's so stupid. Oh, for heaven's sake, stop beating yourself. It isn't going to open the door. I don't know why you closed well, it. I told you. Well, why didn't you pick him up and bring him with you? I should have been gone only a couple of seconds. I don't like to carry him down these stairs. They're so steep. Well, you know how the lock works. You were down in the basement. I thought you put the catch on the lock. But I left the door open. Oh, how many times have I told you with Sandy in the house not to leave the basement door open? Well, he was with you. Oh, what was that? Sounds like he's pulling the pots and pans out of the cupboard. Joe, what? I've got things cooking on the stove. Sandy! Sandy! Don't, don't shout like that. You, you'll scare him half to death. Uh, Sandy! Sandy, bring your chair to the door. Oh, he's doing it. That's a good boy. Bring it right up to the door. That's right. Come on. Closer. That's a good boy. Now, get on the chair, son. Get on the chair and turn the knob. Oh, he's gone for his duck. He probably left it in the kitchen. Well, he'll come back as soon as he finds the duck. Oh, I... I hope he didn't throw it in the tub. Joe, what? the window. Oh, it's too high. You could raise me up to the window. Sure, but you'd never get through. It's too narrow. I can wiggle it's through. It's too small. Well, we could at least try. It's a waste of time, Anne. We can't afford it. You can't uh, get through that window. Well, I will. And stop it. Stop it. Let me go. That isn't going to help either. You can't tear down the door. Let go. Take it easy. Well, I... I can't help it. It's better not to frighten him. Sandy! Oh. 
He's still looking for the duck. Sandy, come to the door. Daddy? Daddy? Daddy's right here, son. Now, now turn the little knob. Climb up on your chair and turn it for Daddy. Knob. Climb on the chair, Sandy. Let me talk to him. You don't want to confuse him. Come on, Buster, up on the chair. He did it. Hang on to the doorknob, Sandy. Oh, he's all right. Turn the little shiny knob, Sandy. The one under the doorknob. The lock. Now look what you've done. He's playing with a doorknob. Well, he has to hang on to something. I don't want him to fall. Shh. The little knob below the doorknob, son. The little shiny one. That's the lock. No, no, no. Stay right there, son. Don't go away. Don't go away. Now turn the shiny one. Right here where Daddy's tapping. Door. 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 Oh, Joe. He's too young to understand. Watch the doorknob, Sandy. See? See how I turn the doorknob? Now you turn the one under it. It, it, it's your turn now, Sandy. Good boy. Now turn it all the way. He's turning it the wrong way. No, d d turn it the other way, son, and to your right. I, I, I mean, turn the other way. Once more, Sandy. Oh, oh he fell off the chair. Sandy, baby, are you all right? Okay, Sandy. Oh, as if he could tell us. No, no he's all right. No. Sandy, Sandy, fix your chair. The game's over, Joe. Can't you break it open? Well, you saw me try. Sandy, Sandy will be right out. You wait right there in the hall. Hey, we're right across from the Donaldson's kitchen. Well, I don't think they're home. Ed! I couldn't possibly hear you. Yeah. Bye, bye. Sandy! Sandy! Oh, come back and wait by the door. Oh, Sandy! I can hear him in the kitchen. Oh, there must be some way. If I could just get this bolt loose. Well, that's what you should have done in the first place. Well, it's frozen tight. Oh, it, it moved. That was the pliers, not the bolt. Still in the kitchen. Oh, don't be so sure. Oh, you always expect the worst. If the house was on fire, you wouldn't admit it. Well, I don't go around looking for trouble. What you mean is that I face things and you don't. No, what I mean is you're not happy unless there's something wrong. And if there isn't something wrong, you create it. I created this, I suppose. Yes, unconsciously. Look, I have told you a hundred times not to leave the basement door open. Tell me I created it. All right, it's my fault. I did it. I'm to blame. I'm also to blame for this bolt. It won't turn, but it's my fault. Ow! Oh, that's how you always try to settle things. It's my fault. Only you never mean it. That's a fine defense. Well, I've had to learn a few, like at the Henderson's party the other night. The Henderson's? That was over a month ago. Oh, what difference does it make? You know what I'm talking about. Oh, that's probably Mother. She was supposed to call back. Sandy's found his duck. He... He always picks up the phone unless I'm there to stop him. Well, let him pick it up. If we didn't come to the phone, she might get the idea there's something wrong. Sandy! Leave him alone. He's in the hall. Sounds like he's he's next to the phone. Oh! Was that the phone? He pulled it to the floor. Say hello to Grandma, Sandy. Say hello to Grandma. I guess it doesn't make any difference whether it's grandma or not. I can't hear him if you keep talking. No, I, I don't hear anything. Sandy! Sandy! Well, he's not in the hall. Maybe, maybe they'll phone back. Oh, he never puts the receiver back. Sandy! Sandy, come out here in the hall. Can you hear him? No. 
Now, what are you doing? Well, this screwdriver isn't very sharp, but I think I can chisel enough of this door jam away to get the lock. That should work. Here, hold the pliers. Oh, hurry. Well, I'm going as fast as I can. Oh. Sandy! Sandy! Oh, if he was in the house, he could hear me. He may be back in his room playing. Oh, Joe, you haven't even gotten the paint Well, off. if I had a knife, I... There, we're beginning to get someplace. Did you hear that? What? The back door. He's gone outside. Why oh, didn't you? Well, how could you? I'm listening for him, too. Sandy! Sandy! Oh, he's gone outside. Mm, there you go again. Well, he could be outside. And he could be in his room. Oh, I hope so. Oh, is this going to work? What? Are you going to be able to open the door? Don't, don't start to break up. Not now. Well, you didn't answer It's me. going to work. Oh. How much longer? Five, maybe ten minutes. I don't know. It's like trying to crack cement with a toothpick. I, I hope he's in his room. He's in his room. I hope so. What was that? Something hit the window. Hey, it's a football. I can see part of it. It must be those kids from across the street. They'll come to get it. Look, uh, uh, Joe, don't start shouting until we see them. I can see his feet. Hey, come around to the help back us, door and, and, and let us we're, out. We're trapped in, we're the trapped in here. Man. Give me the pliers. Please help us. Oh. Oh, fine. I hit the pipes up above instead of the window. Oh, gone. oh, they must have heard us. They probably thought we were shouting at them for kicking the football into our yard. Here, hold the pliers. Get closer. I'll be able to shove the lock back if I can get deep enough. Sandy! Even if he went into the yard, he, he might stay there. Oh, I hope he didn't get into the bathtub. He had his duck and, and the boat was already there. What time is it? Oh, I don't have my watch. He didn't put the receiver back or the phone would ring again. We've been in here at least an hour. Well, it won't be long now. Can you move over and give me a little more room? Well, I'm flat against the wall. Okay, okay. Don't start taking it out on me. That's right. Start putting words in my mouth. Look. I don't have to go back a month, like the Henderson party, to find something to complain about. Complain? Oh, you make it sound so simple. One small complaint. If I knew what you were talking about, it might help. If you knew what I mean. I felt like a fool. What did I do? <laughs> you know. No, I don't know. I don't have to tell you. Well, then I'll never know. Then you'll never do. That's what's so infuriating about it. Oh, but... Sandy! Sandy! I think I heard him. Oh, where? I thought I heard him down the hall. I did. I don't hear him. Sandy. Sandy. Oh, keep working at the door. What do you think I'm doing? I tell you, it was uncomfortable. Oh, at the party. Yes, at the party. Oh. Well, you'll have to let me in on it. I'm in the dark. Well, did you have to insult everyone by talking to Healy all night? Oh, he's, he's 20. I'm 10, 12 years old. That's not the point. I'm only accusing you of being rude. What did I do that was so rude? You didn't mix with anyone. You didn't talk to anyone. You ignored everyone. Well, you're the one who told me how to act at parties. Oh, it's my but fault. When I complained about these parties for business reasons and how much they bored me, you're the one who told me how to act at them. Oh, I'm sorry I even meant You that. said find somebody interesting, hang on to them, spend the evening with them. All I did was take your advice. But you still have to acknowledge that there are other people present. Oh, for it. Those people aren't interested in seeing me. They only want to see you. I'm your wife, so I go along. Oh, that isn't true. You're the bright young man in town. That's why we go to parties like the Hendersons. Well, is that bad? Well, of course not. I'm always ready to be of help. Oh, don't go out of your way for me. Don't do me any favors. Oh, that's unfair. Yeah, and I'll be a martyr. Oh, Sandy! Oh, why doesn't the answer? I'm hitting metal. A few more seconds and that's all. Look 
for me, Ron, and you can go to parties all by yourself. Oh, you think people only want to know you because of me? You envy my job, you envy everything I do. That's the problem. No, it's you. It's you. You're never satisfied. You want too much. Because you're not a smashing success overnight, you take it out on me. All right, I'm a failure. Yes, in more ways than one. I'll tell you if it wasn't for the kid, I'd... But you can leave tonight. And I intend to. At last, there's the lock. Now, push on the door as I shove the lock back. Not yet. Okay. Now. What's wrong? The screwdriver slipped. That's what's wrong. You'll try again. Okay. Push. That's it. Oh, Sandy! Where are you? Sandy! Oh, oh, he's not in the kitchen. Try the bathroom. Sandy! Sandy! His duck's in the tub. Maybe he's in his room. Look, I'll, I'll, I'll look there. You, you better look outside. All right. Sandy! Baby! His mother! Sandy! Sandy! Sandy. Sandy! Oh, Anne! Anne! Oh, Anne! I, I found him. Well, where are you? Don't shout. He's sound asleep. Oh, I... Is he okay? Yes. He got tired and went to sleep. Where'd you find him? Huh? In the hall closet. In the hall? Here. Let me take him. No. I'll hold him. Where are you going? <sighs> to put him to bed. You want me to? No. I'll do it. What time is it? 11.25. Oh, no. It can't be... We must have been in there a couple of hours. We were only in there about 20 minutes. And... And I... I'm sorry about those things I said. You, you know I didn't mean them. You know I love you. Put the receiver back on the phone. Turn the flame off on the stove. As soon as I get him in bed, we'll... Have lunch. Suspense in which Paula Winslow and Parley Bear starred in tonight's presentation of The Cellar Door. Next week, the story of a group of brave men who risk their lives in a desperate effort to save their fellow men. We call it Arctic Rescue. That's next week on... Suspense. Suspense is transcribed in Hollywood by Anthony Ellis. Tonight's script was written by Bernard Girard. The music was composed by Rene Garrigan and conducted by Wilbur Hatch. Sound patterns by Bill James and Tom Hanley. Featured in the cast were Richard Beals and Byron Kane. Stay tuned for five minutes of CBS News to be followed on most of these stations by The Jack Carson Show. You hear America's favorite shows on the CBS Radio Network. <laughs> <laughs>